What's up, guys? We're here in LA, post San Francisco Marathon. I'm gonna bring you guys on a little running hack on how to improve your running, but also enjoy the running community as you embark on these challenges. But first, let's go to this Koreatown relay race. Brothers slept on the bed, and Nicole and Twan slept on the bed, and this man slept on the floor. Even though my bag is falling. Was like, yo, there's room on the fucking bed. Nicole's half a person. James, like, no, <laughs> I'd rather just sit over there. So here we are in, in downtown LA, in Santa Monica, where the finish line of this relay race will be. We're on our way to the start line, somewhere in downtown that's anonymous, I will not say. From there, we're gonna be running 16 miles to the Santa Monica Pier. There's gonna be five segments, which means five different runners that are gonna run distances anywhere from four miles to 2.3 miles. Really a relay race to see who can get there first, but people are gonna have fun as well. Like there's some teams that are dressing up in costumes. Our team, not so much. We're gonna bring you guys on on this 90 minute journey. I'm not gonna tell you the hack now, but drop in the comments if you can guess it. <laughs> we have a bib. It even has my name on it. <laughs> A little selfish, bro. I'm selfish. This is actually super dope. KRC branded baton. This is our racing weapon, my friend. And Brady will be starting the first leg running with the baton. We didn't get the memo of this being a fun race. So we're out here, no fucking team name. We just show up. We didn't even, we only have our fifth person, allegedly. So I don't know, Brady. I didn't plan to shake our run. How does it feel, man? You're about to kick us off on this 16 mile journey. Dude, it's feeling good, man. Like, so I've been working with Matt for about a year now, right? So how do you deal with that? I just make the damn content, man. <laughs> but, but it's crazy. Cause like, I've been like in the mix of the running community for so long, but didn't start running until about what, three months ago. And you've been so, at it, brother. Yeah, so dude, it's, it's awesome. So it kind of full circle yeah. to record and run this shit with Matt. So yeah, here we are. 16 miles later, let's see how Brady feels. Let's see. She's so bad, she never met Santa. She bad. Yeah, I don't even care, I never had manners. No way. Yeah, been a couple years, y'all must have Santa. I do. Hey, sit while you rap, cause you just can't stand it. Into my head, look, gave me danger. I go in and the girl's so crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, holding me tight, trying to have my baby. Say what? Yeah, I'ma be a place in my age turn 80. I'm a big flow tsunami, I'm wavy. I done mom with a chick named Stacy. I just see a beat go beast, that's rabies. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Ready, that's me, that's up. That's up. We're here at checkpoint number two, waiting for James to get here. Brady just got done, crushed his three miles. Dan's getting ready. The energy's electric, dog. You see behind me, a lot of other runners, all levels, getting a little uncomfortable on a Sunday morning, bright and early here in LA. This big part of the running community, guys, is actually having people to run with and also to like cheer you on, to compete with. And it brings the best out of you. As humans, we all need that shit in life. Someone that's gonna push you to get out of your comfort zone so you can be a better version of yourself. And that's what we're witnessing right now. I go in, way too tear like Adam Man. What is not enough, it's Kyle Frank. Way too cold like Adam Man. Got this drive at a server bands. Way too turn up, swerve the bands. We are not a couple with your serpentine. I'm almost home on the dirt again. This the one, got him all shook like a hit and run. Been a couple years, but I just begun. Fit on myself and I'm almost done. Oh God, I'm faded, yeah. My mom gon' hate this, yeah. I just can't fate this, nah. Bombs away when I lay this. She's so bad, she never met Santa. She bad, yeah. They're getting closer, brother. Let's go, brother and I do. Hey, sit while you rap, cause you just can't stand it. Into my head, gave me that. Bitch, I'm geek like Urkel off the fucking bourbon. I hear them posers talking, I ain't worried cause they not Oh, that's rolling the whole time, huh? Here we are. We're on this path. This is my warm up to my final leg. You're crushing it. Awesome job, you're looking good. Keep it going. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. I think this is the dopest thing about any run community. Like, you have people out here on a Sunday morning literally just cheering others on. There's the competitive fire. There's the camaraderie, another biker behind me. But this is what makes running super dope. You could be competitive, but yet want to push each other to do better. You'd love to see it. So I don't know where we're going. We're just following this kid. You guys are looking good, man. We're out here. My brother's ripping a 655 pace right now. We're on the fourth leg. This is where we got it gets it into the knit and gritty. Hey, say why you rap, cause you just can't stand it. Into my head, it gave me danger. I go in and the girls go crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Less than a mile, team. You got that. 
Yeah. I'ma be a place in my A's turn 80. I'm a big flow tsunami, I'm wavy. I done mom with a chick named Stacy. I just hear a beat go beast, that's rabies. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Ready, that's me, that's up. That's up. I've been working on getting that buzz and finally refill my cup. Okay. I don't even have shit to prove. I did all the things I said I'd do. It's way too fun with the haters moving. And now I want to make it just because I choose. <laughs> Fuck with me. Woo. Now I want it all, that's luxury. Uh -huh. Step up in the party, they bump with me. Uh. Step up in the party, she run to me. Okay. 300 in a month, that's fun to me. And no couple mans wanna punch me. What? All they ever throw is he subs to me. What? You ever see me out, they bump with me. Chick so bad, she never met Santa. She bad. Yeah, I don't even care, I ain't never had manners. No way. Yeah, been a couple years, y'all must have Santa. I do. Hey, sit while you rap, cause you just can't stand hey. it. Into my head, you gave me danger. Uh. I'll go in, way too tear like Adam man. Okay. What is not enough is Kyle Frank. Way too cold. Drink like of champions here, people. We just got done 2.2 miles. Finished the last leg off. 16 miles in the books with Koreatown Run Club and their cease and desist relay race. Unreal experience. This truly is the hack for running. You guys want to start pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. You want to meet new friends, you want to meet new people. Put yourself in a run club, a run community, and watch how much you grow as a human, as a runner, as an athlete, and watch it bleed into everything else you guys do. Find yourself a local running community, get out there, meet some people, run some miles, spread some kindness. Two of my biggest takeaways when you're part of a running community is one, the accountability from your peers. When you have people running next to you, whether it's at a track workout or a relay race like this, they're holding you accountable because you guys are both going through suffering. It hurts. It doesn't feel good. You want to stop and walk. Having someone that keeps you accountable just because they're not quitting, it is some of the most contagious energy anytime you're in a run club or just even in a race. The people that are right next to you, they become one of your biggest cheerleaders. So put yourself in an environment where people are going to root for you as much as you're rooting for yourself. Second takeaway is always surround yourself with smarter people. When you go to run clubs or run communities, there's typically enthusiasts or experts or maybe former Olympians that know a lot of stuff and are willing to share their insight. If you go on this running journey and you're just by yourself and you feel like you're just doing everything alone, at times that is good, but it can also be bad. You want to put yourself in an environment where other people are lifting you up. They're giving their insights and their professional experiences and they're sharing it with other people that are interested in it. And if you're someone that is really curious, putting yourself in these environments will not only help you in running, but it'll also bleed into everything else that you do. You'll realize that the people that you're associated with, the people that you're hanging around, you typically want them to be smarter. You don't want to be the smartest person in the room so if you feel that way find yourself a new room get yourself into a run club a running community any community for that matter of fact and watch what happens for your own growth that's my hack for becoming a better runner now let's go cheer on these 50 other teams with KRC. That was the one leg that probably as you get closer here, yeah. it would make out and all the energy. You already know, this starts the what I eat after a uh, cease and desist 16 miler. Only two miles actually. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hurt it! Dan should have got that one! Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Be crazy. Yeah. Let's go.